technology simply seems to amaze people. First conventional computers were introduced. Although they were awesome in their performance, they had a great disadvantages attached to them. So scientists have now created an alternative for it. They have developed world's first living and breathing computers. They have created a biological supercomputer which runs using proteins instead of electrons to give information. They have done an unachievable foot by creating a tiny chip. This chip is 1.5 centimeters and is square in shape. This chip would look ordinary to naked eyes but once it is zoomed city-style grid can be found on it. Protein string which would be introduced in this chip would travel through this grid. Dan Niccolo Sr., bioengineer from McGill University in Canada said, We've managed to create a very complex network in a very small area. This started as a back of an envelope idea, after too much rum I think, with drawings of what looked like small worms exploring mazes. This chip has been created with collaboration from researchers who belonged from Germany, Sweden, and the Netherlands. They all gathered and thought upon how to create a biocomputer. The protein which will be induced into this microchip would do the work of electrons. The proteins will be fueled by adenosine triphosphate, ATP. ATP is the main thing which helps in transferring energy into living organisms. Researchers believe that once this computer starts working fully, it will reduce the problems faced by supercomputers. These would be small, sustainable and would be equivalent to supercomputers.